Hi y'all, it's Elisa. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be taking you on a pantry tour as well as showing you my pantry inventory that I have completed. I'm taking part in a collaboration with Lisa from Sutton's Days and this was part of her homework and she gave us an additional week to complete this one which I totally needed because it took me quite a while to gather up um, some food throughout the house and get it organized enough to somewhat do an inventory. So if you've never happened onto my channel before if you would go ahead and like and subscribe and I would really appreciate it and let me show you what I have okay so here are some of my first questionable items to pull out um, these juices are a different color than they were when I stored them in here they all expired um, some a little more than two years ago some are about to creep up on the two-year mark so you know, they look a little bit different, but I cracked one open here. This one is Old Orchard apple juice, and it smelled good, and I just tasted it, and it tastes good, so we will be using these up here pretty soon. Okay, so I have a case here of Dossner milk. It's best by date is May of 2015. You know, I'm going to try these out. No, the first one's bad. I'll try the next one. Okay, I'm going to start here in the kitchen. And this is the cabinet directly to the left here of the oven. And it is really just proteins. Um, it's beans and meats, with the exception of, I don't have dry beans in here. So these are just canned beans. I'm really low on canned beans. I have dark beans here, light beans here, and then just like some pork and beans and the other kind there. Up here are actually, it's actually a little cookie sheet that has some baby food meats in it, which... At the time that I organized this a couple of days ago, I was keeping them, but now I've decided I'm gonna donate them, so I need to get those out of there. I am gonna hang on to these little baby foods. These are chicken and apple. And then back there are mostly all beans, and these in the Thrive cans, I know it's really hard to see back there, those are quick cooked beans. And then those in the jars, like the home can jars, those are some quick cooked black beans that I had did. And then down here are the different types of meats that I have. I actually have a little bit of overflow meat in my pantry. And then here are like the fish. Okay, so these little organizers, those are from Thrive Life and that is this particular one, I believe is the pantry plus one. I just have it divided up. So I have part of it here and then the other little part down here because it's actually too wide to go all the way across inside of my cabinet. So anyway, so that's what I have in the kitchen. My actual pantry is just a little closet that is off the side of our office. So I walk through our office to get to our pantry and starting at the top, I have freeze-dried food. This is all freeze-dried food. I think there might be a dehydrated one or two. Um, I start over here with my vegetables and then go into fruits. Have some dairy. The milk I have is way in the very back, like I can't even get to it because I have so much milk in our fridge and in our freezer and then boxes of um, shelf-stable milk also. So... Anyway, so yeah, it's mostly Thrive Life, but it's there's some other brands mixed up in there as well. And then I will just keep on turning, and on this wall, let me come back out so that you can see. Um, so, like, here's the doorway. I'm standing in the doorway. It's a very small closet. And so, on this wall right here, I have put two shoe organizers um, on the wall. I just attached them to the wall with those little Hercules hooks. And 
these one, two, three, really the top three are the ones that I have things that I would really rather my daughter Raina not get to. So, I mean, like, obviously I don't care about this stuff, but that's just the only, they only fit in the top. So, like, these things, I don't want her, she will eat them all. She will eat them all. So, I have to keep them up high, as well as the little, um, Thrive Life snack snackies. She'll take off with those, and I won't see them again. So, I just have various things crammed in here. Um, I did try to organize it a little more than it was. It wasn't organized at all. And so, I just realized, because it's such close quarters in here, I am going to have to squat to get the rest of it. So anyway, I think that these little shoe organizers should be just everywhere you can put one, really. <laughs> and then I have some juice bottles here, just lined up along the floor. And this... Um, rack here that goes around that was here when we got here so it was already set up I did put we did put this shelf in here and because I have so much weight on this shelf um, my husband put these little I'm so sorry the name escapes me but these little things to keep the shelves from falling and each one has three I don't know if we just didn't have enough at the time because we did this like as soon as we moved here because we knew I was gonna have a lot of weight on it um, but like there's one on all on three corners and then the back one doesn't have one and like they the back one is always falling <laughs> but anyway not falling bad but just like kind of falling a little bit okay so the top shelf here I begin with vegetables and I have them in alphabetical order because I do everything in alphabetical order um I left room to grow back here because I am going to be getting a lot more canned food from my mom and dad's house so anyway I begin with my vegetables and then I have several cans of hominy I remember that brought up in Lisa's live thing last Monday about people not liking hominy. I like hominy, so I have several cans of hominy. Oh, it looks like I have some cans that fell over back there. Um, and so I continue here with vegetables, and then I go to tomatoes after that and start up on fruit. These are some dehydrated blueberries. Here I just have, this is kind of random here guys, I started kind of running out of room in different places to put things, and so this is just kind of an accumulation of sauces here. Um, there are a ton of, I have a lot of peanut butter, and so most of it is right there. There's a few extra. I don't remember what I put in this bottom thing, oh there's some olive oil. Um, yeah, I was kind of trying to figure out what to put on that very bottom one because just nothing really fits in these and I just didn't have anything that could go in there. I mean, ideally, little snack things like that would go in it, but again, I can't have that those that low to the ground. Um, here is kind of a mishmash of stuff too. Uh, sort of some baking stuff and then like the salt just randomly got through up there. I don't know. Uh, again, I kind of ran out of room. This entire thing here is oatmeal baby food and then this uh, that's some soups different kinds of little soups and then this is some um, freeze-dried potato soup that I have made these are all dry beans that one is water that one is low so that Raina can access it <laughs> Um, I need more rice. As far as like just an extra to go grab, that's the only rice that I have. We have tons of cereal. Um, down here I keep kind of papery goods. And then right over here, mostly pasta type stuff. And then just some other things. Don't really have categories. This is like a big thing of coconut flour. I just couldn't find another place to put it. <laughs> and then usually put chips up top there. Okay, so this bag right here is, I don't know if you can see in there, 
it's baby food. So that's baby food that like needs used up because it's way expired, but we still use it. Um, I add it to things, uh, make like flavored pancakes with it and different things. This is kind of some overflow stuff from, hmm, I don't know. I don't really know where it belongs. I found it in another closet and decided to bring it in here earlier. And then I also have some other overflow meat, just straight up meat up there that technically belongs in the kitchen, but I didn't find it until the kitchen cabinet was already full. These two boxes right here, one, two, have milk in them, shelf-stable milk. This little thing is kind of hard to get to, but I'll tell you what's in it. These one, two, three, four, the bottom four are canning supplies, just like rings and lids and stuff. This is all like bakery. Um, these two here are like all cake mixes. That one has some of those, they're like little toddler, like Cheetos kind of, except not so cheesy at all. In fact, those are veggie ones. But, um, and then those, I have like four of these things is what those are, arrowroot cookies. The little ones really, the babies really like these. And those are, they're rice crisps. Here I have like the cheap goldfish basically. And then way up here, Pop-Tarts, Big Newton bars, and extra graham crackers. Oh, here I just, here I just have crammed in some extra little snack bags. Okay, y'all. That's it. That is my pantry. I come in here to get things, like there are things that I use often out of here. In fact, all of my freeze dried or dehydrated stuff, if there's a little star on it, it means it's currently open. And so like I do utilize stuff out of it. If it doesn't have a star, it means it's still sealed. Okay, so some of you have seen um, how deep my pantry was before I started cleaning it out. So see this big pile here? I mean, like, it looks like it's large enough to go on a pallet. Okay, guys, this pile, alrighty, I'm not talking about those little items on the floor. So, like, right here, all of this right here. Okay, so that pile is all new baby food. Like, you know, baby food that we would use. Actually, Raina did not... Aside from, like, the first couple that she just tried when she was a little baby, like, she didn't start eating baby food until she was, like, until she just started, like, eating it because she liked the taste of it. So she was, like, almost two and started asking for it, you know? So, um, and, like, I was totally against those little baby food pouches for the longest time, but you know what? It is the only thing I can give the twins that in the car that like assures me they're not gonna choke while we're driving. Because those pouches are so expensive, I got these the other day, which I am totally excited to use. Um, and I am going to fill them with baby food so that I don't have to keep buying those pouches. And here is all the baby food that I'm going to use. So anyway, all of this that's in this pile is like the expiration date or best by bait date is like a long ways away. So all of these, that's why they're not in that bag in the pantry. You're probably wondering, after cleaning all that out, what all I'm throwing away. This, I actually have a really small throwing away pile considering what um, all was in there. And really, all of it mostly, like this is canned milk and you know, some people might keep that, but you know, the last time I used it, and this ch cream of chicken soup. The last time I used those was almost a year ago and like I kind of felt like they were questionable then. <laughs> and so I just, I just really rather get rid of them. I'm just tired of, I just know I won't use them. So um, same thing here. I just, you know, these moved here with us and I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure they're probably fine, but like I haven't used them in such a long time. I just can't guarantee the way that they were kept. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know so much about them and it's just easier for me to just toss them. So that is my toss pile with the exception of this can opener. This actually, I was going to show you, was a find 
as I went through to inventory my pantry. And those of you who might have watched my silverware organization video, I keep several can openers because I'm constantly fighting can openers. But since I did that video, we have got down to one. So I was so happy when I found this. So now we have two can openers again. So I'll put it right there. It looks like the other one's in the dishwasher. And this pile, right there, that formula going all the way down to here, that tower of stuff is all stuff that I am paying forward or donating. And it's all baby food, guys. <laughs> like, it's all baby food. Um, except for these little crushed singles to go. I didn't care for those. And uh, these are, uh oh, those are brand new formulas. So yeah, I think I've pretty much showed you everything. Um, this isn't everything. Um, this is kind of like just what I can show you. I probably need like a whole nother day, but it needs to be like a day with no kids. And that doesn't happen. And so, hold on buddy. <laughs> and like I need a whole day to be able to get to the area where some of my jams are and home canned stuff, which I don't really have much because I haven't canned in a really long time. Um, so to get there and to get to my buckets and stuff like that, um, yeah, I, I just I can't get to them right now. And so I'm going to do my best estimate of an inventory from some of that stuff. Like, I can see some of it. Um, and, like, I might uh, add a picture of that area, portions, portions of that area. There's really no reason for you to see the stuff that's, like, thigh high in that closet. But, um, <laughs> and it's, like, not even, like, it's not even stuff that belongs in there. So, and I just, yeah. I just, I don't have, I, I, I don't have the uh, time to mess with it right now, so, you know, maybe that can get done soon. I'm going to add something about the um, freeze-dried or dehydrated food. These are not duplicates. None of these items are duplicates. Everything, I actually, I might have some duplicates, like, from pantry cans to family size cans, meaning, like, like, I have a little cauliflower here, and I might have a big cauliflower up there. I don't, but just an example so um if i have extras of uh, say like here i have onion slices and it's not opened because it doesn't have the little star um so this is an unopened onion slice i might have another uh, unopened onion slice number 10 can for example and it's gonna be like stuffed or crammed somewhere else and i just have it written down where it's at so so yeah, none of these are my extras. Like, for example, I have like a stack of extras just stacked over here in the office. So just kind of sharing with you. Okay, so I just wanted to show you some stuff that I came across after I finished. Um, I have some sugar here, a couple of uh, brown sugars, a powdered sugar, and then just regular cane sugar. Um, I just threw it in this little then typically we rotate through uh, we usually have about 30 pounds that we rotate through just all the time I have other sugar that I have stored in buckets that is vacuum sealed this is where are the 10 pounds that we are always currently using this is my baking cabinet which is my favorite cabinet that we have because it is my most organized cabinet. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the sugar that I found. All right, so I decided to type up my inventory this time and I have my vegetables listed here and all of my vegetables. Um, typically when I organize my fruits and vegetables, I always do all the vegetables and then I do the tomato stuff and then I do the fruits. So I always keep tomatoes kind of like separate as from the other items. Also what I did was I highlighted, I don't know if you can tell, but I put little highlights on my font and that tells me that that item is open. 
and then I change the font to pink and that tells me that that item is not in my pantry that it is elsewhere in the house so really I mean I don't really have an abundance of all that many things I do have five number 10 cans of mashed potatoes one that's opened and they were like a really good sale last year so I have a whole bunch of those yeah tomato sauce I was gonna say I have a lot of tomato sauce I do have 17 little cans of tomato sauce so and they're, they're already expired so I do need to start using those up soon I do have some canned pears here and also some canned whole strawberries that I will probably be using soon and then I move on to the dairy and my dairy is I mean with the exception of those uh, shelf stable milks all my dairy is freeze-dried and actually I have 24 up here on the on the uh, shelf stable milk but it actually should be 22 and then I go into my meats and proteins which a lot of it is freeze-dried some of it is just regular canned stuff like I've got beef with juices and beef meatballs both of which I'm kind of afraid to use so they're kind of like high on the list of things to use just because I think they look really disgusting so I need to go ahead and try them and I don't know just go ahead and try them <laughs> the taco TVP which is textured vegetable protein I really like it the taco TVP and the sloppy joe TVP I have not used the ham TVP though so I'm kind of eager to do that I'm going to the next page. I don't have as many canned beans as I need. I really need to stock up on those. And then I go into cereals and grains. Most of these are I have just as ingredients for things that I make during the holidays like puppy chow or um, just Chex Mix so that's what like all these four Chexes that's what those are for I don't like them I just get them for those recipes and then I go on getting into pasta and some flour I do have a bucket of all-purpose flour and a bucket of whole wheat flour this is kind of a special thing in my basics category. So I have butter powder, vegetarian chicken bouillon, coconut oil, and then I have um, two heads of curly dock seed. I just harvested that from our backyard, say two pints of garlic scapes that I also harvested from our backyard. And the same with the dried goldenrod that we have. I have four bundles of it and I just harvested it from our yard as well. I need more salt. I only have one Oh, well, I do have a number 10 thing of salt. I forgot about that, but still, I need more salt. I need to store more salt. And then after this other salt and the hard red wheat and instant dry yeast, I get into the bakery. And I'm seeing now, as I'm scanning this bakery section, that in it or in the basic section, I do not have sugar, which means I couldn't find any sugar. I was thinking, and I mentioned earlier, that I had sugar vacuum sealed, and I did at one point. I mean, like, I guess I used it all. Like, I, I don't even remember using it, but um, I guess all the sugar that we usually have is just that 30 pounds that we rotate, and that is completely unacceptable to me. <laughs> I mean, like, I couldn't believe that I couldn't find any. So I need to start storing some again and get some more vacuum sealed. Okay, but anyway, I have a number of things here. Um, really, I would say what I have a lot of are I do have an open number 10 can of the macaroon cooking it makes it's a thrive life item it's actually the my favorite item that they make and then we I have three unopened ones I just snatched those up during a sale because I love them um, and then I get into my sauces and dressings I have a couple of things that you know I made like there's some apple preserves carrot cake jam cinnamon grape preserves I have a few of those I was able to locate in that uh, closet that you guys didn't get to see. So you remember the stuff that is, the pink writing is not in my regular pantry. Same thing with the dewberry jam, grape jam, orange jelly, and pear jam. I made all of those. Um, nothing really stands out to me. I mean, I feel like I kind of need more of like everything that I see with the exception of the jams and jellies. Like I obviously don't need those because I've had them forever already. 
But yeah, I feel like uh, ranch dressing. Okay, so I have three of those. I don't really need more of that. But I feel like I need more of everything else. And then drinks. We have a lot of beverages um, as far as juices. I mean, like here I have nine apple juices. And then I have a quart of apple juice concentrate that I had uh, canned up. And then I have one box of tea, which I have a ton of individual teas, but I, I just didn't inventory everything because like those little individual teas, I just, I probably won't replace them. So I did not inventory. Actually, there's a lot of things I didn't inventory. My last category I have here are just ready to go or meal in a jar or like just add water meals. I do have one 30 day survival bucket that is um, enough food for 30 days in one bucket. And then I have a number 10 can of Asian teriyaki beef kit. I put regular soups in this category because I thought, well, you know, I mean, they're definitely ready to eat. Just take the lid off. The chicken salad mix and the salsa. They're both freeze dried. Potato soup. And then I made, these are meal in a jar, roast beef gravy over garlic mashed potatoes. Actually, that's what MIJ means. The potato soup and then that. It actually came out really good. So it's just, it's a just add water meal. And I have five simple plates. I put them in this category, even though they're totally not what I would call ready to go and they're not a just add water meal. I mean, they are, I guess, but it does take a little more than just adding water for these meals, the simple plates. And then I have some Southwest chili mix and then again, just some regular tomato soup. And that is it. That's all I inventory. That's pretty much everything that I have you know, everything that I have in this house. So again, just like with my non-food inventory, I have a lot more things that are not in this house and those, as far as what I own, and those are all the items that are still at my mom and dad's, which contains, I'm not even really sh how sure how much just regular canned food, like commercially canned food, but then it, we filled a room up. We filled the living room up at my mom and dad's house with number 10 cans and pantry size cans. I mean, I don't know. I probably got like 60 cans. I'm not even sure. I really don't know how many there were. I just know um, <laughs> it was a lot. I have a lot. So um, when I begin bringing some of those home, you know, I will definitely be redoing some of this and trying to come up with an alternative method of storage. So anyway, I will definitely, you know, do another video whenever I'm able to start bringing some of that food home to kind of show <laughs> the haul, so to say. Yeah, I really appreciate you watching and thank you for those of you that stayed till the end. Bye-bye.